The girl is sitting on the ceiling, her hair hanging down towards the floor. Everything around her was upside down. And when she came to her senses, she fell straight down into a dark room with doors on all sides. She tried to open the doors to escape, but they were locked. She noticed a small key on the table and used it to open the smallest door because she was too big to get out. As she was worried, another potion appeared on the table. She picked it up and smelled it. Then she took a sip and drank it. Instantly her body shrank to a few centimeters. Her whole body was covered by her clothes. But then the key was a huge thing to her. She found the cake on the table. She ate it and immediately became a giant. She took the key and drank the shrinking potion again. When she opened the door and went out, she was amazed by the world before her. It was full of plants and beautiful scenery. All kinds of exotic animals were passing through the bush. A rabbit and twin brothers greeted her at that moment. Alice looked at all this and wondered. She thought she was dreaming again. In her trance, the twins were leading her to a big blue bug. And the worm was a prophet. He says that the scroll of prophecy clearly states that Alice will save the underworld ever. Since the Red Queen took control of the rain, she has been tyrannical. The only way to overthrow her rule is for Alice to defeat Red Queen's dragon with her sword on the Day of Glory. But at this moment, Alice cannot accept it at all. She still believes it's just a dream, let alone saving the world. As she argues with a bug, a giant dot monster suddenly appears behind her. It roared and bit Alice. The crowd fled in fear, followed by the Red Queen's card-carrying soldiers. Alice was not afraid at all. She boldly faced the dog monster and try to get it to eat her so she could wake up from her dream. In the nick of time, a little mouse jumps on the dog monster's head. He swings his sword and pokes out one of the dog monster's eyes. In the confusion, Alice's arm was scratched. The pain made her awake. She realizes that this is not a dream. The twins led her on a wild goose chase, but they didn't get very far. The two brothers were carried away by a giant bird. Alone, Alice makes her way through the dark jungle. She runs into a tea party held by Mad Hatter. Mad Hatter learns that the girl is Alice. He excitedly invites Alice to join him for tea. While they were having a nice chat, they were attacked by a group of card soldiers. So Mad Hatter takes Alice and runs away. When they were about to be caught, he put Alice on his hat and threw her into the distance. He told Alice to go find the White Queen, but the stubborn Alice still wants to return to rescue Mad Hatter. The moat was filled with heads. Alice has to step on heads to get into the castle. She jumped over them and her foot fell into the mouth of the head when she was not careful. The disgusting black water stained her body. It took her a while to reach the edge of the wall. She relied on her miniature body to get through a small hole in the wall. Inside the castle at this moment, Red Queen is playing golf. She used the flamingo as a club and the little hedgehog as a ball. She swung her hand and hit the hedgehog with force. The crowd applauded. Then she ordered the rabbit to pick up the ball. The rabbit found Alice in the grass and handed her a piece of enlarged cake. Alice was found by Red Queen after she turned into a giant. But Red Queen didn't recognize Alice. She likes people with strange looks. She takes Alice back to the palace and treats her well. So Alice infiltrated the palace and managed to find Mad Hatter. She was guided by him to find the holy sword. On the way she meets the dog monster from before. She immediately returned the dog monster's eyes. The touch dog monster licked Alice's wounds and healed her. It also voluntarily handed over the key. When Alice got the sword and was about to escape with Mad Hatter, a group of card soldiers came to block Alice's way. In desperation, Mad Hatter had to offer himself again. He desperately fought against the guards. In desperation, the dog monster broke out of the encirclement and took Alice away. Alice escaped to the White Queen's territory and gave her the sacred sword. The Red Queen was furious when she learned the truth. She prepared to execute Mad Hatter. Mad Hatter survived by switching identities with the invisible cat. He denounced the Red Queen's crimes in front of everyone. Every word was approved by the ministers. Everyone applauded him. Red Queen was so angry that she ordered the giant bird to catch and kill everyone who clapped. She ordered to wake up the dragon that had been sleeping for a hundred years and immediately started a war against the White Queen. The queen with a heart like cat is very evil. Her gem was stolen by the frog soldiers. She immediately ordered the frog to be killed and followed by his tadpole children. She used pigs as foot mats and monkeys as table mats. Even her own parents' heads she threw in the moat. And the reason she became cruel was because of her head. Her head was ridiculed after she was hurt as a child. Plus her sister White Queen lead and set her up. Her parents hated her and passed the throne to her sister. With her childhood anger, she turned on her sister. The battle is about to begin. Both armies grew in size. Just a second before the battle, 
White Queen reached out and tried to make peace. This continued to anger Red Queen. This sister has been gaining more love from her parents by her weak appearance since she was a child. Red Queen woke up the dragon loudly. This terrible fire-breathing beast woke up from the ground. It arrives on the battlefield with the power to destroy everything. On White Queen's side, there is only Alice, a human in armor. With a huge power gap, Alice confronts the dragon with her courage. She slashed down the dragon's tongue, but was tripped by the dragon's tail and fell to the ground. Then the dragon stomped on her again. But Alice is flexible. She relied on her sword and shield to fend off several fierce attacks. But human strength is limited after all. After a few rounds, she was no match for the dragon. Meanwhile, both armies fought with each other. The scene was in chaos. Alice could only use her surroundings to win. She fled to the ruins and fought the dragon. She leaps when the dragon is not looking and cuts off its head cleanly. The moment the head hits the ground, Red Queen's soldiers surrender. Red Queen was captured and banished from the underworld. After Alice returned to the human world, she became more determined to control her own destiny. She refused a marriage proposal and took a boat to the sea to start a new adventure. Maybe everything that happened in Wonderland is really a dream, but life is only a dream of a few decades. We have to live for ourselves and fight hard in the face of life's challenges.